Scorpio and welcome to my channel. I hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. All right, y'all. I need y'all to help me figure out some of this channel a second ago. So I was at the trash can, you know what I'm saying, getting ready to, to roll up and I heard this song. I done heard it before. I know it's, it's an older song, but somebody hit tell me who this is and what exactly this means, okay? I'm going to hum a little bit and I'm going to sing the part I heard, okay? I heard, do, 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 do. Come on, pretty mama, Bermuda, Bahamas. Come on, pretty mama, do, 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 do. Is that what they saying? Bermuda, Bahamas, come on, pretty mama. Is that what they saying, Scorpio? I don't know. I'm just telling you that's what I heard, okay? And I'm over there just singing my ass. I like my Bermuda, Bahamas, come on, pretty mama. I'm like, what is this I'm singing? So I don't know what that means or who that's for, but somebody please let me know who's singing that song, okay? All right, y'all. So. Let's pull from here before we get started. I already got a little spread going, so I'm going to leave these cards just as they are. But I'm going to pull a couple of messages, and we're going to look into your gifts and talents here, okay? Messages for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios. What is it that they need to know? If anything resonate for you guys today, y'all know what to do. Go on and like, share, subscribe, and what? Comment. What Scorpio needs to know? Okay, I just heard about this today. All right. Anything else Scorpio needs to know? We're going to take those. Okay, y'all. So we have Indigo Child. Okay, so some of you guys, you can be an Indigo Child. This means that you were a gifted child. Like, even as a child, like, you know, you were different. Like, you were different from your other siblings, cousins, playmates, classmates. Like, there was something different about you okay and you were blessed with supernatural abilities and you were drawn to expressing them through your creativity okay so you were a very creative child you know what i'm saying like you were different people could have made fun of your creativity or maybe they didn't understand your creative aspects okay but you were an indigo child i'm learning i was an indigo child okay and as indigo children sometimes you happen to go through a lot of things that people don't understand you I feel like a lot of us were in past. Like, we were just different, period. And I feel like our parents, siblings, like, people just didn't quite understand us. You know what I'm saying? They didn't understand our difference or, or this gift that we had. All right. Then we also have king, okay? All right, Scorpio. So you are a king, okay? You are a born leader and a commander, baby. Getting ready to sit on that throne, okay? So male or female here, okay? You can be a feminine and masculine energy. Maybe you like that you know, king of pentacles or something, but you're, you are a natural born leader. I feel like you've had to step into a masculine energy, you guys, or some type of masculine position. We have Neptune here, okay? Pisces energy. The urge to escape from limitations, okay? So some of you guys could be having a lot of dreams or you can be dealing with someone who tries to escape by dreaming, okay? Or someone here could be trying to merge with you, okay? So someone, Scorpio, could be trying to communicate with you through your dreams. Maybe you guys haven't seen someone's face or it's like you've been having a whole conversation with this person, but they're not even there. You know what I'm saying? Like someone here is trying to merge with you. They're trying to connect with you. They're trying to become whole. They're trying to become one with you, okay? So some of you guys, maybe you're dealing with another indigo child. You know, this is someone who has gifts and talents as well but whoever this person is they're trying to connect with you i feel like on the 5d we have animals a strong spirit animal characterizes as a teacher or messenger that comes in the form of an animal that has a personal relationship with you okay so some of you guys you, you have a spirit animal around you okay maybe you have a pet or something now and it's more of a spirit and a, a spirit animal okay this is a teacher or either it's a messenger okay this could be a protector straight from holy spirit but this is someone or something that you have a personal relationship with, okay? All right, Scorpio. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to try to shorten these last couple of up because I'm trying to get through the Zodiac. I've been trying to get through the Zodiac all week and have not been able to. Maybe I'm just supposed to be dedicating this week to y'all. This ain't how I'm supposed to be going according to my schedule here, okay? 
All right, so we got Ari Lennox pressure, okay? So I feel like, Scorpio, somebody feeling the pressure, okay? So somebody feel like the pressure is on, like the time is now, like they got to do something, okay? This could be someone that has been crying for you, okay? After you don't cry for them first. So you could have shed some tears over somebody. Some of y'all may not. That's fine. But some of you have, okay? You cried over this person. I cried over my person, Scorpio. I done shed some tears before. And it was all because I feel like someone here is crying for you. They're begging for your energy because they just want to talk to you. They just want to see you. You know what I'm saying? Like someone here has been crying for this opportunity to talk to you, see you, feel you, touch you, everything, okay? And then we got the spinners, okay? Somebody is making their way back to you. And I feel like it's only after they've been gone for a long time, okay? So someone here could be feeling the pressure to go on to get their shit together so they can make their way back to you before it's too late or something. All right, so we got, what happened? We're starting first. Okay, so we have ghosted. I'm sorry I disappeared. I needed to get away and clear my mind. So someone here could have ghosted you. Now, this could have been in the past, Scorpio, or someone here has recently ghosted you, okay? It was like you were talking to this person, everything was all fine, and then and it was like, bam, you stopped hearing from them. They stopped calling, stopped texting. Like, they was like a ghost, you know? This person just disappeared, disappeared without a clue. Like, they just left you just like, where the fuck they at, you know? But this is someone who felt like they just need to get away and clear their mind, okay? This could have been someone who was afraid of emotional intimacy, which means they were scared to be vulnerable. They were afraid to let down their guard, you know, and just be vulnerable with you. Let you see their softer side, okay? This is someone who was afraid to open up, be raw, be authentic with their feelings. And this is something that this person is still working on. So someone here struggles with being vulnerable and just letting down their guard. And this could have been why this person ghosted you. Maybe, Scorpio, you were wanting them to be vulnerable. You know, you were wanting this person to let you in. You know what I'm saying? Let down their guard, let you in, connect with them more on the emotional level. But they ran from that shit, okay? For some of you, this person ran, they ghosted you, and they, they refused to let down their guard because they were still attached to their ex, okay? They were attached to them, attached to them emotionally, physically, or spiritually. And they needed time from this connection to figure out shit, like what exactly they want. And this is why they feel the pressure now. Because someone here in the past, I feel like they were supposed to be choosing you, connecting with you, but they chose to stay with this ex. So they were still attached to this ex when you possibly met them, okay? Now, this could be a connection, Scorpio, where she, the feelings and shit was real. Like, she, your feelings for them was real. Now, they may have not shared their feelings with you because of this, in, this emotional intimacy this gives me the energy of someone who doesn't, like I said, let down their guard to be vulnerable. So this person possibly never told you, you know, how they truly felt about you. But it was like you felt that shit, you knew that shit, but you wanted to hear that. So some of you could have pressured this person, like, you know what I'm saying? Just tell me how you feel. Like, I want to know how you feel about me. Like, I done told you how, you feel, how I feel. Why you can't tell me how you feel, you know? But I feel like this person couldn't tell you that. They couldn't open up. They couldn't be vulnerable. They couldn't give you that emotional connection that, they, that you needed was because they were still attached to their ex. Now, I feel like somebody here been trying to figure you out from afar. You know what I'm saying? You're like a mystery. Like somebody here just can't seem to figure you out. You know, someone here, I feel like it's, some of you guys, you like me, you private as fuck. You know what I'm saying? You may not even be on social media. If you are, you may not have no profile, pick up there. Okay, it's just like that little face. They got no face, Okay. <laughs> Or some of you, you never post. You know, if you do have social media, you hardly post. And if you post, you ain't telling your business. You know, everybody be putting all their damn business, everything that got, they got going on. You don't do that, Scorpio. See, this is why this person can't never figure figure you out. That's why they feel like you hiding something because you ain't out there putting out your business and, 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 and telling your every move, okay? And this person really never knows where they stand with you right now, especially if you had to walk away from this person. I feel like the same way they go to you, you go to that ass too. Now. What we got. All right. So currently, Scorpio, this could have been your divine counterpart. And at one point in time, you felt like home to this person and vice versa. Being with this person reminded you of the simpler times. You know what I'm saying? When it was when everything was like easy as sliced bread and, and whatnot. You know, when when you and this person brought each other lots of joy and happiness, but you don't feel like home no more. And this person don't feel like home to you. Okay. So once what felt like home, that four of ones energy, this shit don't feel like home no more okay now this is someone who is single now for some of you this could have been why this person didn't uh wasn't able to let down their guard with you in the past because they were attached to their ex okay but currently this person could be single okay and for some of you this could be future energy they're not going to be attached to anyone but i feel like because of some shit that they don't went through or they feel the pressure 
or they're trying to figure something out or some decision that they're made, they ain't going to be ready for no relationship, okay? So this gives me the energy of somebody who done experienced something, okay? Experience something major. And it's like after they get through healer, this is someone that's kind of like in their forest wars energy. Like they're kind of recuperating. They're recovering. Yeah. This is someone that's recovering from something major. And so because they're recovering from something major, Scorpio, they're not going to be interested in a relationship. Like this is someone who needs time to heal. Thank you, Spirit. This is someone who needs time to heal. Now, while they're healing, Scorpio, this is someone who still listens to music, okay? You shared music with this person. This person could have shared some music with you, but they feel like this helps you guys connect to one another. So this could be someone that's sending you messages through music. You can hear certain songs. They remind you of this connection that you share with this person. Or this is just what they're doing. They're trying to find any means to connect with you. Even though right now, Scorpio, it's not the right time. This person don't have time for the energy. They don't have the time or energy for a relationship, but they're still trying to find some type of way to connect with you, okay? All right, Scorpio, so what? Let's say 10 minutes in. Let's get the signs. Let's see who this reading is about. All right, messages for my Scorpios. Who is this about? We got Capricorn, Taurus, Aries, Gemini. Ooh. We got Libra, Heavy Aquarius, Aries. And we also have Heavy Pisces, Cancer, and Aquarius. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.